Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time, we spoke to a man with an awful accent. And not much really came of it besides... We have to go over that way. There's, why do I see glittering things up there? That looks weird. I'm gonna look at that with a Hawkeye in a minute. But yeah, so we spoke to the man atop the tower who has a very bad accent. And by that, I mean I gave him a very bad accent. Why do I just see things glittering up there? I'm, I've never noticed that before. Let me go ahead and look at that with a Hawkeye. What the hell? Okay, so they're a bunch of birds. Why the hell are they all up there? That sec above that section there? Or is there a bridge over there? Or something? I don't know. I don't know why that's why they're all there. That's strange. Um, anyways, let's see. Yeah, I will go ahead and just leave these two. Actually, put that there since I use it more. All right. So we also got a note from that guy, which we have to give to fire over here, which essentially are custom coordinates, and where to launch us next, which will be the next area of the game. So let's talk to him. Actually, no. I don't feel like doing a voice for you. Yeah, I don't. Uh, no. No thanks. Read this instead. No effect. There we go. Hmm. I don't remember his voice. Oh god, I don't remember his voice. <laughs> I will. I guess he ought to do that. Fuck, I ain't doing a voice for him. I don't remember his voice. Yeah, waste is flight. This time's all paid for. So good. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Fire in the hole. I have a feeling this is going to turn out bad. The Gerudo Desert is where we are heading next. Wait, Link. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Do you remember what the spirit said about the fused shadows? What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. It was another world entirely. The antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, flitting in the half-light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. This is the history of the twilight, as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you not understand what I am? I'm a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. Who cares? It was a peaceful place until Zant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all the Twilight into shadow beasts. It's clear to me now that he somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into this twilight realm without his power.
But there's another tale told by my people. Why the goddesses forbade us from return forbade us to return to the world of light. They left one link. Link Ha <laughs> Between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to Twilight Realm, and we must get there. Okay. Getting a little sensual there. Okay then. That was a little bit touching, I must say. <laughs> So the Gerudo Desert. Now, something I didn't comment on earlier. Every time I hear Fire's Cannon theme, it just, it puts a smile on my face. And I can't, I mean, every single time it puts a smile on my face. And I cannot change that. I don't know why. But it does. That's how much I love the song. So anyways, yeah. Sadly, we do not have Epona for all of this. Or Murray, should I say. But we have P-Hats. These are the new fangled pea hats of this series, this game. But they actually work quite well. They're assistful in here. Whereas before they were all enemies. Okay, this one's kind of useless. So. You use it to get across, but I'm not really going to bother, I guess. Oh yeah, and there's these things. I don't like them. They're annoying. They remind me of... Screamers. The Screamers from a uh, older movie called Screamers. There's like Screamers 1 and 2, and then they made a sequel to all three, like, in 2001. And the movies from, were from like the 80s or something, originally. So, I don't know, that's that's what they remind me of, is the Screechers from those movies. I believe that's what they're called, is Screechers or Screamers. Shriek, not Shriekers. It was something like that. It was something similar to Tremors. The concept, you know, monsters underground that burrow in the sand and whatnot. So yeah, I don't have to keep finding these, I can really just ignore them. But what I'm going to do is head over to that big tall pillar. And I don't know if I should collect the bugs, I really don't feel it's necessary. I've never really had the need to have a bigger wallet or have more rupees. Oh, I gotta jump across here, I think. Oh no, it's connected here. There's something over here. Yeah, there's an old chest, I think. There sure is. Ah, arrows. That's nifty. Good thing we have the large quiver. I actually really like that. I'm glad we're able to get that. I'm glad it's easy to get in this game. Compared to other games, it's really easy to get. Especially when it comes to the next one, even. It's still easy to get. So. Yeah. Now, you may recognize this big pillar thing that's protruding from the ground over there. Well, we'll find out what it is when we get there. I don't feel like explaining it, even though there's actually nothing to explain. You can probably tell what it is, especially if you've already played the game. And, uh, yeah. Let's see, I want to grab onto you. Okay, enough with the hesitation. There we go. It's still strange to me how P-Hats are helpful in this game when all the other ones that I've played, they're all your enemy. Oh, yeah, this thing. Also, there's a random, like, vibration kind of sound through my microphone. I don't know what it is. It shouldn't be the wind from my fan, my ceiling fan, but... Also, I think they're gonna make it so I can do this with one of the Gonna come a little closer? Good, thank you. But yeah, I think I f might have figured out what it was, because I did that a few times in the last couple of episodes, the last recording session. It's, I think it's my microphone stand, the vibration from kicking my, the, the thing it's clamped onto, vibrates through the springs and then through all the metal and touches, gets to the mic and makes it sound weird. So I'm gonna test that real quick. You, If you heard that, then that made that was a buzzing sound that I've been hearing while editing. Um, I'm not really too worried about you. What is this thing? What is warp? This, they expect you to know what it is immediately. 
from what it is, I believe, let's see here, it's going to be right here. No. No. Yes. It's the replacement piece for the Bridge of Elden. I don't know why it's way out here, but it is. And she can just lift the giant thing. Just, just lift it. And she just swirls upwards. Now, just like the stage in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, this materializes and pops in place. Just, it just fits. It just fits. It doesn't sink, it doesn't fall, it just fits. So, the bridge is fixed. Fun fact, the first time I played the game, I didn't know that that was a bridge of Elden and that's how you repaired it. I never knew that until literally the end of the game just about. At a point where I think it was mandatory to replace the bridge piece. So, that, that, that was fun for me. I never knew. I thought it just stayed permanently broken when I first played the game. And I was like, oh wait, what's that over there? Now, Having that being lifted up, it reveals a sort of pit of 100 trials kind of thing that you shouldn't really do until the end game. I'll go ahead and bother with it at the end of the game, just about, after I've done everything pretty much. But, yeah, that's, that's what it's for. And at the end, I don't know what's at the end. I've never done it. But I know other people have. I know Path Slash did it in his LP. And that's pretty much it. It's essentially just a pit of 100 trials. So, I don't know why I wasn't running as Wolf Link before, it's faster than running as Link. Doesn't matter, we're already long most of the distance here. What we have here is a hideout. Of a lot of thieves. And do-batters. Instead of do-gooders, do-batters, because that's probably the, the term. That's, that was a good one. And I'll just do that to him. I actually just remembered something that I'm going to do before we do the dungeon. Because it's going to be a little bit before we get there, but there's something I should do first before entering the dungeon. Anyways, we can ride these guys and break through shit. And then... Just make them kill themselves. And just slice them up. They just stay unconscious for a minute and then just get right back up. Too bad Epona's not as durable as that. Also, here's the first one that we did earlier in the last session. He's waiting right here for us. We meet again. This next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to the point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you still wish to master it? Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the back slice. Now then, come at me. Whee! Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fourth hidden skill is the Helm Splitter. Let it be hewn into your mind. It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslice against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch, but then quickly press A. You will leap in the air over the enemy's head and greet them with your blade by immediately striking from behind. This is the Helm Splitter. Now show it to me. I like how he just his sword's right there, like just ready to kill him. I, I like that. Anyways, that and that. Although I was supposed to do a spin attack, but whatever. Hmm, impressive. Do not miss your chance to land a Helm Splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth hidden skill, the Helm Splitter, has been passed on. Oh, he didn't say done. 
You're supposed to say done. All right, well, we got the helm splitter. Probably my favorite move. There are still three hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily soul training. Between now and the time you come to learn thy next skill, may we meet again.